In this video we'll show you how to configure HashiCorp Vault for use with Datastax Astra, how to utilize Vault to associate metadata with tokens, and show you how to add additional security controls around Astra tokens by leveraging Vault's dynamic tokens. For this demo, we're going to start with an existing running instance of HashiCorp Vault, pre-configured with the Datastax Astra plugin. If you need details on how to get your Vault instance configured for use with Astra, please see the documentation for the plugin. First thing we need to do is to configure a bootstrap token for Astra within HashiCorp Vault. This is the token that authorizes Vault to interact with the Astra APIs to create application tokens. As a best practice, the bootstrap token should be the only token that is not generated by the Vault, so that the Vault is the authoritative source for application token management. Once the bootstrap token is configured, all future token requests should be handled by Vault. Let's get started configuring Vault. First, go to the Organization Settings screen for the organization you want the Vault to manage tokens for, then go to the Token Management tab and generate a token. Be sure to give this token enough permissions to issue new tokens. We'll use the Organization Administrator default role for this example, which will give the Vault the maximum permissions possible. You'll also want to grab your organization UUID which can be found in the URL string. Once we have our token and the organization ID, we can use the HashiCorp Vault command lines Vault command to create a configuration which the Vault will use to manage tokens for the given Astra DB organization. We can provide a logical name for this configuration so it will be easier to identify in the future. We can also define a maximum lease time for any token that gets created for this organization. Nobody generating a token will be able to create a token that lives longer than this maximum. Configurations for each organization can be listed, or retrieved using the organization's UUID. HashiCorp Vault uses a roles-based system to determine access rights to the Vault. If you are already using HashiCorp Vault, you likely already have some roles in place. We've provided a script called update underscore roles.sh in the Astra DB plugin source code that makes use of the configured bootstrap token to duplicate the roles in your Astra orgs to the Vault. You can optionally use it to integrate Astra roles into your existing Vault role hierarchy, or to streamline role creation if this is a new deployment. The Vault list command can be used to display the roles that are configured. Now we are ready to utilize the Vault to create new application or API tokens. We'll use the Vault write command and supply it with the organization ID and role we want the token to have. We can specify the lease underscore time parameter to define how long the token should exist. If we don't provide one, the lease will get the max time we specified earlier. And finally, we can also provide it with some key value pair metadata. In this case we're providing owner and app values to help us identify who owns this token and what it is used for. The vault will then interact with Astra to generate a new token, and store the token in the vault. We can observe in the Astra portal that a token has indeed been created for this organization with the role we supplied. Note that in the Astra portal we can only see the client ID for a given token. This token had a very short lease time, so we can observe that it has expired and been removed from the Astra portal. Now we'll create another token with a longer lease time so we can further demonstrate how to use Astra tokens with Vault. We can easily consult Vault to recall the information about a token using the Vault read command and providing it the client ID found in the Astra portal. If a token needs to be revoked before its lease expires, it is possible to revoke the token early with the Vault lease revoke command. Using that command, we can see that we've explicitly revoked the token in question and it is no longer in Astra. If you are looking for an additional layer of security for your Astra DB application tokens, Please check out the Astra DB documentation for more information on the HashiCorp Vault Astra plugin. 